Hey, what's up guys? Austin from Know Your Music again, and guess what? It's review time. So we're going to go back to a little classic here. This is, um, if, you, if you take away the live albums, the compilations, two CD sets, things like that, this is the best-selling country album of all time. Okay, um, the reason I can say that and not be reviewing Shania Twain's Come On Over is because I don't, and I know a lot of you will agree with me, do not consider that a country album, okay? The album prior to that one was country. Same producer, songwriter, so forth and so on on the next album, Come On Over, which did sell a lot of copies. Not country, okay? But this one is, folks. This is Garth Brooks, No Fences, okay? Huge album. Really helped spur country music again. It got it going back again in the 90s, okay? This is what opened up the 90s, and this one got it moving. All right, so we're going to run over some tracks on this one for you. Um, the whole album is a uh, almost a George Strait style fiddle and steel guitar type of country album. Um, this was really before Garth got into a lot of the pop and rock stuff. However, there are a couple of tracks on here that sort of hint at that, okay? The first track, the opener on this one, uh, The Thunder Rolls, was a huge hit for Garth all over the radio, all over uh, CMT. He got the videos played. Um, this is a song that's it's a country rocker. Um, it's got some good uh, driving guitar in it, but it's not really heavy. Um, the song lyrically does touch on cheating. Um, and what happens is on this one, uh, there's actually uh, three verses to this track, but for the studio version, when they recorded it on the album, they left out the last verse, which is actually when the woman of the cheating husband exacts revenge. So if you ever hear this one, and you know, concert-wise, uh, you'll kind of get a little bit more closure on the song. Either way, not a happy track, okay? Uh, next one, New Way to Fly. Um, it's a country ballad. It's got a lot of piano to it. Uh, kind of talking about um, a different way to deal with a breakup, so to speak. Uh, New Way to Fly, Far Away from Goodbye is kind of how the chorus goes there. Track three, Two of a Kind, Working on a Full House. This one's a good relationship song. Kind of talking about a husband and wife who are uh, ready to start building a family. This one is definitely a traditional country song, driven by the fiddle and the steel, okay? Uh, next one, Victim of the Game. This one is a very bitter love song, okay? This one's talking about being a victim of the game of love. Kind of being bitten over and over again and, um, you, know, not, you know, not coming out on top of the whole relationship thing, okay? Uh, the song is, uh, it's, a, it's a good mellow track, and it's got some great vocal harmonies in it, but again, it's a, it's a sad song. Um, track 5, Friends in Low Places. This one's a good honky-tonk, kind of a barn burner country number, uh, roadhouse type of song. It's got a good guitar solo in it. Um, talking about uh, showing up at his ex's wedding and kind of proposing a toast to kind of, you know, just be a, you know, a thorn in their side at this point in time, so to speak. And uh, anyway... Um, this one ends up, uh, it does talk about drinking champagne and drinking beer and having buddies at the bar and so forth and so on. Aside from that, you know, that's how you're going to get out of that one. Uh, Wild Horses, Rodeo Track. Um, this one's a good piano country song, kind of a up-tempo ballad, if you will. Uh, talking about how the, the, it's, it's the plight of the wife of the rodeo man and the plight of the rodeo man leaving his wife behind. Uh, this is a song that's been sung many times under many different names by many different artists with many different words, but it is the same thing where the rodeo man is addicted to the rodeo and it keeps dragging him away from his wife. Um, and it's just kind of talking about the sadness of the two of them as they kind of deal with that sort of thing. Track seven, Unanswered Prayers. Good Christian tune, a good country ballad here. Um, kind of talking about, you know, running into your old, uh, your old love and uh, realizing that what you've got now is even better and a reason why God didn't answer your prayer to be with that one is because he knew he had something better in store for you. Uh, very good track on that one, also a very big hit as well. Uh, same old story, track number eight. Again, a good lonely number. This one's another country ballad. Uh, very slow and soft song. Uh, it does basically just talk about it being over and over again, kind of, you know, getting a relationship, breakup, heartbreak, and loss, and all that stuff. And that's really the gist of that track. Uh, Mr. Blue, this is a good old remake here. Um, boy, I can't remember exactly who did this track. You know, if you think of it before I do, go ahead and comment below and let me know that uh, this is how I blew it because. I can't remember who did this track originally, but it's a good uh, 50s doo-wop number that's been turned into a country song here. 
Um, kind of saying that uh, just call me Mr. Blue whenever you say goodbye and uh, whenever you, you know, whatever you, you're going to do. Just just call me Mr. Blue because I'm, I'm going to be blue now. And then Wolves is a uh, the last track on the album. This one is... Uh, so it's a country ballad, uh, but it does have some uh, definite, the definite good high harmony vocals on there. Um, it's a, you know, good sing along track. If you know the words, of course, you know, try not to sing along if you don't know the words, or do because that's fun too, I guess. But anyway, um, this one's about uh, sort of the hard times of the cowboy and the farmer, uh, the wolves being the bankers that are coming to try to, you know, kind of take everything away from you. And oh, close up. <clears throat> Did I trim it? Okay. We're good. Anyway, that's the last track on the album. There's a reason this album sold. I, what it, it's got to be somewhere close to 19 million copies, if I'm wrong. This is the bridge album between... Okay, so it's the bridge between the 70s and the 90s. This is Fiddle and Steel Country and the Hat Axe kind of, kind of coming together and erasing what happened in the 80s with the country politan and the country pop scene. Now, we know that Garth Brooks did go on to get some good pop success and some country rock hits, but this one is something that, you know, I mean, if, if you're a George Strait fan or if you're an Alan Jackson fan, this is the kind of album you can put on and listen to all the way through. Uh, lyrically, obviously, we touched on that. Vocally, um, Garth is an absolute perfectionist when it comes to uh, how his voice sounds on the albums, or was at least back at this point in time. He has loosened up a little bit in recent years, but this one was back when he was just perfectionist. And, and the same goes for the band that's playing on every track on this album, this, this, this Nashville studio band that he has. It, is, it, it really is perfect. Uh, there's, there's, everything is just really tight. The sounds are all exactly where they should be. Production value on this one is just awesome. And it's a classic right now. I mean, it's, it's kind of weird to look back and say something that was released in 1990 is a classic now, but it really is. We're in 2016 now, so... Yeah, it's, it's a classic at this point in time, and uh, just go ahead and, you know, kind of take to heart what I said with the lyrics on there, give this one a listen, I, I do highly recommend it, there's no filthy language or anything like that on there, there's just some mature subject matter, and uh, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, and subscribe, check out the rest of these reviews, guys, and the vlogs, and give me some, give me some uh, requests, if you would, please. Check out uh, Facebook, Know Your Music, and then just search for the logo, the little, uh, you know, the little colorful logo that we have on the videos here. And uh, email me requests if you'd like to, or, uh, you know, suggestions, anything like that at knowyourmusicnow at yahoo.com. And thank you again for watching, and I will talk to you again very soon.